Okay, today's video, you guys have been asking for some behind the scenes in the garden, so we're gonna show you a little bit of that and how to spray our new cottage color paint. Let me tell you this, it goes really, really well. Yeah, we actually already did it, but now we're filming this, so stay tuned. I got dirt all over me. <laughs> We got this table from Grandma Jean. It's been outside, it's a little worn and it's hot. So we are gonna be spraying underneath the English walnut tree in our backyard. You wanna be spraying in the shade if it's hot because otherwise it dries too fast. This is the first time we've been spraying the DIY cottage color and I'm really excited. I've got my 20 gallon air compressor. It does pretty good to spray with the HVLP sprayer continuously. I'm keeping the air pressure at 65 PSI to spray this. At first we started out, we did not thin the paint. I thought it would spray really well. If you keep watching here, we do have to thin it. The reason we're painting this is because we want to set it back in the corner. We've got a concrete pad back there that will eventually be a greenhouse. And you can see Jamie diligently working on the weeds back there. Right now we don't have time to build a greenhouse, so we're going to do a patio table. I've got my two inch hole saw. We're going to put an umbrella in this table. And so I'm just drilling down through the center here and we'll put a weight on the bottom eventually in 2029. Most of these oak tables like this are just a veneer and then there's MDF underneath. So this is the first coat of paint. We're trying it undiluted, just 100% paint. And it's going on okay, but it's a little thick. It's not flowing quite as well as I want. So I've got 16 ounces, a pint of paint in here. And I'm adding another four ounces of water to fill up the 20 ounce hopper all the way. You can see here, it's moving much better, getting better coverage, spraying a lot faster. I'm not gonna be all day because the point of spraying is you want a nice, smooth, even finish, but you also want it to go fast. For a setup like ours with the compressor, hose, and sprayer, you're looking at about $250. On this particular piece, we ended up doing two coats of paint for full coverage and we want to get pretty good protection on the bottom. And then on the top, we would normally seal a tabletop with four coats of sealer. So since this paint already has built-in sealer in it, we also did four coats of paint on the top of the table. When we were finished, we used about three quarters of a pint plus the water that we added to get it to spray. Next up, we're painting these old chairs. They used to be at our dining table, but they've been living outside by the pool. 16 ounces of gray skies in there. And then I'm just gonna fill it up to the 20 ounce line with water. We're gonna spray this. So you guys can see it for yourselves here on the video. This is real time how good this is spraying and what good coverage we're getting with the gray skies on these chippy metal chairs. So we would love to reside this. We have no time and no budget, but it does need to be protected. It's been like this for years. So I feel like it probably couldn't get worse, right? We're gonna pull out this vinyl siding and then we're just gonna paint it with exterior paint to protect it till we can reside it. So we sell these French door pulls. We have them on our room and I just thought it'd look really good to add one to this back door. Someday we'll trim it out uh, and maybe someday we will 
decide it, but for now, this is it. I feel like it's a vast improvement though. Yeah. I mean, it's white and mostly sealed from the elements. Well, this will keep the sun from eating it up. That was the big issue. Yeah, and it's probably been probably 10 years the way that it was. Look at that butterfly. That's a big one. I did the chair, so Zeb's doing the table. It's only fair. <laughs> Don't mind the tree that got partially painted. Crank that open, is that too close to the barn? We got thunderstorms just in time to test this out. It's not even cured. We let it sit out in the sun for quite a while before we moved it back here. I don't know if that's gonna be enough. Thunderstorms are here. We'll see what happens. I love that we were able to reuse this table that came from Grandma Jean and turn it into an outdoor table. If you were really worried about long term, you might wanna use some marine varnish or something outdoorsy, but I'm sure this is gonna hold up great and age well over time. I'm gonna have to start eating breakfast out here because that's when it's really nice and cool in the morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. If you have any questions about spraying the new cottage color paint, please ask below. And if you have any gardening questions, we're happy to answer. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vintage for more DIY.